Alrighty, this isn't so much of a problem as it is a walkthrough. And let's see if I can do this in one take. So today we're going to talk about bubble sort. And I actually have the code right here on how to do it. And we'll walk through that. So the question is, why even learn bubble sort? Because we can just sort very easily using this I think it's ES6 sort solution. We just run it, bam, our numbers got sorted nice and easy. But the thing is, this question still comes up on interviews. Bubble sort, write me a bubble sort. We're never gonna want you to use it because the time complexity sucks, but we wanna know that you know how to do it. So, I'm going to try to explain bubble sort. So let me just <clears throat> comment this out. Let me take these numbers, put them up here. And right below it is going to be the index position as to where these numbers are. Oops, it would help if I did them correctly. Okay. There we go. So this is our array of numbers. This is where they are indexed. So basically what bubble sorting is doing <coughs> pardon me, is it's going to compare, to start off it's going to compare these two numbers. And it's going to ask, is 2 greater than 7? Well, it's not. Well, fantastic. We don't have to do anything. Then it's going to move up the chain. It's going to ask, is 7 greater than 4? Well, it is. Okay, well, let's just switch the positions. Then it's going to move up the chain again. Is 7 greater than 1? Well, it is. So let's switch them again. So we put 1 here, 7 there. Moves up the chain again. Is 7 greater than 5? Yes, it is. So we just switch the position. And lastly, is 7 greater than 3? It is. So let's switch positions. So that's our first pass. We come back around again. Is 2 greater than 4? It's not. Is 4 greater than 1? It is. So we have to switch positions. Now you sort of get an idea how this is working. Is 4 greater than 5? It's not. Is 5 greater than 3? It is. Okay, let's switch positions. So this continues until we get an ascending order. That's a bubble sort. Imagine how time consuming this would be if you had like a million numbers. It'd be a pain. So Let's look at what we have going on here. So what you want to do is you want to think of the array of numbers as the i. So we're going to get the length of these numbers and we have six and we're going to keep working with them as long as i is greater than zero. So we're starting out with six and with each pass, we're going to be decrementing one. Now you want to think of the J's as the index position of the numbers. Okay, so what's it asking here? We're making our first pass, and it's asking, let me put these back how they used to be. There we go. On its first pass, it's asking, is the number at index 0, because that's what we're starting with, 
is this number 2 larger than, which is basically 0 plus 1. That would be the index of 1, and this is reflective of the number 7. It's asking, is 2 greater than 7? Well, it's not. Fantastic. We'll start again. Now it's asking, is the array at index 1, because remember we incremented it here, we're going through a second pass. It's asking, is the number associated with index 1, which would be 7, is it larger than what would be index 2? Now remember, this is index 1 right here, so now we're just going 1 plus 1, which gives us index 2. It's asking, is 7 larger than 4? It is. Okay. So now what we do is we have this temp file here, and array the number associated with index 1 is 7. We're putting it into a temp right here. Now we're taking this number, which is index 2. Remember, we started out with a 1 up here. So 1 plus 1 gives us an index of 2, which is this number. It passes it back to what is now index 1. This is how they switch places. And then this temp, where we had 7 here, gets passed up to index 2. And then they make their switch. And this happens again and again and again and again and again until they finally get put in order. So what would that order be? Well, we have 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. So that's how it would uh, turn out. I'll tell you what, let's comment this out. And let's see if that's what we get. There we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. That is bubble sort. I hope I explained it well. Until next time, we'll see you later.